Hey guys, I just wanted to share some quick thoughts with you. So yeah, Arch Linux is generally uh, known as like a, you know, a distro where you kind of have to know what you're doing and do it yourself, stuff like that. It's not completely true, but you, you know, you got to be able to look things up and uh, figure stuff out, I guess, to a degree. It's really not all as bad as people make it out to be. But one thing it's known for is it's amazing uh, documentation. So there's the Arch Wiki. So there's tons of stuff built by the Arch community, lots of documentation in there. Now, one thing people complain about is that, uh, you know, Arch users, if you ask on like the Arch Linux subreddit or any, uh, you know, Arch Linux related forums, people are going to say, go read the wiki. And they're going to give you a hard time if you're asking a simple question. They'll be like, no, I won't answer your question. Just go read the wiki. And a lot of people, this bothers a lot of people, especially new people, turns a lot of people off to Arch Linux and to Linux in general. Now, one thing that a lot of people are pointing out, chat GPT is really good at answering almost any question, any basic question you have related to Arch Linux or Linux or anything tech in general. It doesn't get too deep, right? So, you know, it's not a replacement for reading the documentation, but if you just want to solve a quick problem, chances are it's going to give you the solution a whole lot faster than you would reading through the documentation. And it's, you know, the, you do have to remember, you can't completely trust AI. If it tells you something that seems off, you got to get used to the idea of uh, knowing when to ask follow-up questions and say, hey, wait a minute, doesn't sound like you're giving me all the information there. You know, they can hallucinate and you got to be, you got to get used to being able to kind of spot that when they hallucinate. But, you know, ChatGPT, incredibly useful. It'll give you quick answers fast when you don't need to read a whole huge wiki page about something you really don't care about. You just want this one thing to work so you can get off to doing real work or working on something you actually are interested in. So that said, one interesting thought um, that I had is that, you know, it's not even necessarily about, hey, should I use ChatGPT or the wiki? There are situations where you really should use both. It definitely doesn't replace the wiki. You really kind of need the wiki. Um, the wiki's super Super useful. Um, you know, can't can't say enough good things about the Arch Wiki. Even non-Arch users use the Wiki just to get general Linux information. Arch Wiki is amazing. But one thing I have to point out is that Chat GPT has read the Arch Wiki. Chat GPT has read more of the Arch Wiki than almost any other Arch user out there. So, you know, you, you can be an Arch user for years, you can read the wiki, you can contribute to the wiki. You probably haven't read everything in the wiki. Chat GPT has read everything in the Arch Wiki. Just, you know, just something to point out. Chat GPT has read the wiki, so you don't have to. Doesn't mean you shouldn't go read up on specific topics you have an interest in or it's something you want to deep dive into. The wiki is going to give you probably better context than uh, you know, that than what Chat GPT can. But Chat GPT can point you in the right direction and give you quick answers when you need them because it's read the wiki for you. Just something to point out, just some thoughts I wanted to share. But uh yeah, hopefully you 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 enjoyed listening to this. Maybe it was uh, entertaining listening to me talk about Chat GPT and and Arch Linux and the wiki. Um, maybe it's useful. I don't know. But yeah, definitely give me a thumbs up for this video. Leave a comment down below if you have an opinion on this topic. And uh, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button because we do a lot of other great tech content. Usually I'm teaching people how to do things and doing guides and stuff like that or how to's or, or, or demos on different things I've done. Uh, but yeah, that's normally the type of content we do. We do hardware, software, coding, servers, Linux, Windows, all that stuff. We do Mac stuff. We do, we do everything. We take things apart. Lots of great stuff on this channel. You don't want to miss out on it. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. That's about it for today. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.